Move ahead with the third problem in the permeability of soil chapter. The problem statement goes that as follows. The in the concentrate permeability test, the cross-sectional area is given it as 100 cm square. Area is area of flow is given it as 100 cm square. So when the flow was taking place under the hydraulic gradient of 0.5, the amount of water which is collected in 60 seconds is 600 cm3 and the last thing is just to evaluate the coefficient of the permeability of the soil. Uh, and the options are 0 0.02, 0 .2, and 2 cm per second. Since in the uh, question, I will write, write down all the given that data from the question. So the area of flow given it as 10 cm square and the hydraulic gradient I is directly given it as 0.5 and the amount of water collected from that data you can calculate the Q. The Q is nothing but volume collected, volume of water collected divided by the time. So volume of water collected is 600 centimeter cube and the time is 60 seconds. So you'll get the Q equals to uh, 10 cm cube per second from this particular data and uh, they have asked us to calculate the K value that is coefficient of permeability value. So from basic Q is nothing but area into velocity. From the Darcy's law velocity is directly proportional to hydraulic gradient I. V becomes equal to K into i and therefore uh, if you place v equals to k in this equation q becomes k i a and that's what we have seen it in the constant head permeability test so q becomes over here is 10 centimeters cube per second equals to k into i is given directly i is unitless because meter by meter will get cancelled so it is unitless i and area is given it as 10 centimeters square so this unit is centimeter cube per second the k unit you will be getting it in centimeter per second this is unit less and the area is centimeter square so unit will be getting balanced so from this particular expression you will get k equals to 2 centimeter per second uh, it is I, I think it is understood 1 by 0.5 it's 2 centimeter per second k coefficient of permeability of soil but uh, and, and if you look at towards the options, oh uh, yeah, you will find the option which is uh, option number D, uh, two uh, centimeter per second. Correct answer is two centimeter per second. But yeah, but here, however, in the problem, here there is I think uh, no need to go and check it for the Reynolds value. And obviously, if you want to check it for the Reynolds value, the flow is obviously to be laminar, and therefore the Darcy's law will be valid. Which is nothing but V equals to the velocity of the flow is directly proportional to hydraulic gradient. But in continuation to this problem, they may ask you to calculate the true uh, value or maybe a coefficient of percolation or maybe a true value of the velocity which is occurring through the soil pores. They may ask you, but for that, the uh, information regarding the porosity needs to be given but if you recollect the uh, discussion regarding the true velocity which is occurring uh, so if you recollect the this hopefully the phase diagram this is the soil solids this is solid and this is the water and i consider the soil to be fully saturated and if I consider the water to be flowing across the whole of its volume, then we call this particular velocity as superficial velocity. We obviously for our case we define it as just the velocity v, but the true velocity will be occurring within the pores, and we denoted it by vt. And we have also seen that vt is greater than the superficial velocity v. 
v over here is superficial velocity and the relationship between vt and v we have seen vt equals to v divided by n where n is the porosity so the extension to this problem they may give you the value of porosity of the soil and they may ask you to calculate the true velocity which is occurring through the soil pores yeah exactly and also we have also seen the expression like the true velocity is nothing but coefficient of percolation into hydraulic gradient i so they may ask you to evaluate kp which is nothing but coefficient of percolation but as far as our this problem is concerned yeah there is no need uh, to calculate uh, the coefficient of uh, percolation because in question they have just asked about only the permeability of soil so uh, k value which is nothing but v equals to ki so for this remember this is coefficient of permeability and this is the superficial velocity v which is occurring along uh, the total cross sectional area and uh, if it is occurring only through pores then you need to probably take the volume of the pore or the, probably the uh, cross sectional area at the pore and because because of this area reduction you may get uh, higher or higher velocity of the uh, which is occurring through the soil pores uh, so this finishes your uh, third problem uh, in the permeability of uh, soil chapter we will move ahead with the next problem within a couple of seconds. Thank you.